in this video we give another example of a of the center of a group this time it will be the center of the dihedral group n so the the order of the the n will be um, 2n okay so the center of the the dihedral group n it will be the zero rotation and the 180 degrees rotation if n is even and it will be only the zero rotation if n is odd now i want to introduce another concept here the concept of centralizer of A in G. Let A be a fixed element of a group G. The centralizer of A in G, center of A, is the set of all elements in G that commute with A. So the centralizer of A is the set where G is in G, elements of G, such that G A equals A G. Um, I, sh I should have called this G1, G2, G3, right? So you have an element, you have a group. Okay, first you have a group. You have an element A. Now, if A times G1 equals G1 times A, if A times G2, that's G1, G2, A times G2 equals G2 times A, A times G3 equals G3 times A, okay, this G1, G2, G3, this set will be the centralizer, not, uh, I hope there is no mistake here, between the center of G, that's a totally different thing, and the centralizer of A. So this set, we say it centralizes A. So this set will be the centralizer of an element of G. So in D4, I'm going to give now some examples. In the dihedral group 4, in D4, the centralizer of the zero or null rotation, it will be all D4. And D4 is also the centralizer of the rotation of 180 degrees. The centralizer of the rotation of 90 degrees will be the set of rotation null, rotation 90, rotation 180 degrees, rotation 270 degrees. Okay, and this set will also be the centralizer of the rotation of 270 degrees. The center of the rotation. Oh. This is the, the rotation around the um, horizontal axis, okay? So this is D4, right? So we'll have A, B, C, and D, okay? Oh, wait a sec, let me do this this way. So we can do this, A, B, C, D, and we have a so this will be the horizontal line okay so so a and b will rotate around this line here down okay and c and d they will both rotate up okay so from here to here 
we have a horizontal rotation okay and that's the rotation that it's here so the center of this rotation in d4 it will be the set of uh, ro uh, zero rotation uh, horizontal rotation rotation of 180 degrees oh this is vertical rotation so the vertical rotation would be this one okay so from here to here we have a vertical rotation okay so the um, the center of the horizontal rotation will be rotation zero horizontal rotation this is the center meaning all these elements commute with the horizontal uh, rotation 180 and the vertical rotation okay and this set is also the um, the, the center Sorry, not the center, the centralizer. The centralizer. Okay. So what what we have here is the centralizer, the centralizer of the horizontal. Okay. I think I have to redo all this. Um, here we have the centralizer. Oh, uh, I have I have to. To explain this to so the centralizer of the diagonal I call diagonal um, this operation a B C D so this will be the, the diagonal we keep the elements in the diagonal okay and we swap this to okay C B B C and uh, D prime it will be the diagonal prime so the other diagonal where uh, C and B stay the same okay and there is a reflection of these two D and A so the centralizer of D will be rotation now uh, di diagonal rotation 180 degrees and the diagonal prime rotation and this set is also the centralizer of the um, the d prime uh, rotation okay and this will be the last theorem of the um, of this video the centralizer of an element a is a, sub a subgroup it means for each A in the group G, the centralizer, so that's the, the, the set of elements that commute with A, the centralizer of A is a subgroup of G. So centralizer of A is a subgroup of G. Uh, I'm not going to do the proof here. Okay. Uh, I can do if if anyone if anybody wants this proof. Uh, I can do in another video.